Hi Aquarius, how are you? This is Shah and this is your reading for the 20th, I think. Uh, yes, the 20th to the 26th of April. And we're nearly at the end of the month, but we will be going into Taurus. So, happy birthday Taurus, if you've got somebody in the family that is Taurus. But I'm going to do your reading now. I'm using uh, beautiful cards. I'm all here you, you can see it is Aquarius. And this is the card made and designed by Parola uh, Burberry. And that is magical. I love he's a, a close designer, but he also designs Oracle cards. My cat cards are also by him. And sorry about my cat jumping up, but I'm also using the Angel Archangel Power Tarot deck underneath the Lenaman. So I've got the the clarification cards are the Lenaman, and I'm Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and I'm using the bottom of the decks. I'm using the Angel Romance deck and the color cards by Iga Singal and the Archangel Tarot deck. So let's get started, Aquarius and i hope you will have a beautiful week you have the queen of pentacles and that is queen of ariel now if you follow me regularly then you know that the queen of uh, coins is the mother earth she also represents mother earth and she also represents the star sign virgo but don't exclude uh, Taurus or Capricorn because they are earth signs as well my darling and she stands for fertility so if you want to get pregnant then now is the time to get pregnant if you don't want to get pregnant then take precautions and she also uh, represents birth birth from a child or birth of a new project this could be a new job a new house something that you can touch that is material Okay, and that has a uh, duration and long term as the pentacles are slow and steady and they go for long time, a uh, long term activities. So the queen of Bur uh, queen of uh, pentacles and the queen of Ariel also means and stands for growth as she's got the green fingers. Look at all the plants around her. Isn't it beautiful? and the banquet table is in the back and the angel and also it's she's got green fingers so she nurtures everything all the seeds that she puts into the ground and she lets it grow and love and warmth and she protects it and guards it against the birds and the, the beetles and the insects and so it can grow and once this sprouts out of the ground it will grow 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 and blossom and then you can harvest that is what she stands for so perhaps you have invested in something or perhaps you might find out that you're pregnant or hearing of a birth if you cannot have children because you're a mature lady then you might become a grandmother or an auntie or a friend of yours might be having a baby okay so that is and they could be as like I said a Virgo a Capricorn or a Taurus and the Queen represents Virgo now the clarification card is the dog Wow and I said perhaps a friend of yours might be pregnant or might be finding out that they're pregnant or becoming a grandmother so there you are that is your definition for Monday okay I'll put them like that because I haven't got too much room and then we're going on to Wednesday I hope you're well and safe at the moment and I hope you have enjoyed Easter although it's been last week but it still sort of feels like a holiday because of the lockdown and everybody's still at home the second card you have is the moon and that's Archangel Haniel and Archangel uh, Archangel Haniel is also the angel of the hearts so listen to your heart listen to your heart's wish listen to your intuitiveness you might be highly psychic at the moment or highly sensitive and aware of things happening before they happen this like this is the red flags cautioning you okay could be about a person could be about a situation 
Perhaps there are things that you don't know because we have also the dark side of the moon. So you might have to be Sherlock Holmes and do more research with regard to a situation, a question or an issue. But you are on the right path because the, par the moon lights and gifts lights uh, and shines on your path. But you are also in the spotlight. So you are being noticed. Perhaps that you are, uh, you've got the dogs here. One is the wild one and one is the domesticated. One is pure and the other is dark. So um, the opposites. So you might be highly sensitive and you usually are not sensitive. So there you are. Be aware of your sensitivity and your emotions. Listen to your in, uh, emotions and your sensitivity. Open your heart and know how to protect your heart and yourself when you are feeling negative energies. But there might be a Pisces because the moon also represents Pisces um, that has an eye on you, Aquarius. Okay, now the card says the opportunity to improve your, improve your plans. Listen to your intuition for accurate guidance. Face your fears and grow stronger. Boom, there you go. Now, there could be a friend coming in, like I said, or it could be a Pisces friend that has an eye on you. Look at that. Somebody around you might be jealous, but luck is on your side because this is the bear and that's two definitions for the bear and the bear is big, strong and nobody can move him. He will protect what is dear to him and what he loves. Okay, it could be a passion. It could be your job. It could be a hobby. It could be a child. It could be your pregnancy, that you are defending your pregnancy because somebody might not agree with you for some reason or other, but it isn't any of their business if you ask me. You've got the Seven of Gabriel. The Seven of Gabriel, like I said, you might have to protect your pregnancy or something. Well, this is what the Seven of Gabriel means, the Seven of Wands, the Seven of Rods. Stand up for yourself and believe, uh, stand up for what you believe in. Have confidence, claim personal power. Well, the bear certainly does that. And it could be a lady that is um, jealous of you. Sorry, that's my Siamese. And she <laughs> comes and sits with me when I read cards, usually with Sagittarius. There could be a lady friend of uh, of yours that uh, could be jealous. So be forewarned. The, it, the moon is also mysteries, mysterious mystery. So perhaps you're not aware of somebody that's being jealous, but you feel the need to protect yourself and what you love. That's two de um, confirmations of the same thing. At the weekend, you have the world. You might also be meeting a lady that could be a fire sign, okay? Because Rods is fire. So it could be a Sagittarius, Aries or a Leo, Aquarius. But you've got the Wheel of Fortune and that's ten. So if there is somebody around and there is jealous, perhaps... Um, there might be an ending to a friendship because 10 is an ending and where there is an ending there is a new beginning the wheel also means going up in a uh, moving up a spoke like the spoke of a wheel so if you have a friendship and it's just a new friendship then it might be coming a bit a better friendship or a better relationship in a relationship it's easier to say because you're going up to the next level from going out with each other into getting engaged or married what goes round comes round this is my karma card so if you've done good or bad it will come back to you threefold and if somebody else has done it to you they will get their karma threefold you might be moving home or going on holiday Wow, there could be promotions and perhaps some pr at work or uh, more clients if you've got a business. Somebody is definitely jealous. But like I said, luck is on your side. And this again means luck. The clover. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. 
Okay, at the bottom of the deck, my darling, you have King of Raphael. And the King of Raphael is, of course, the, um, the King of Cups. And the King of Cups rep is representing Cancer. Or Cancer represents the King of Raphael, the Cups. But don't exclude uh, Scorpio or Pisces. Now the king can keep his emotion under emotions under control, and he's a beautiful father figure. So you might meet the king of cups. Um, also, he is a person that uh, will help you and nurture you and take care of you if you are in dire straits. He will provide for the family to the best he can. But love, nurturing, passion, and care is his priority and he has not reached this status for nothing as he knows how to keep his emotions under control yes it is safe to trust the ability to accomplish many things at once follow your creative passions so this could be your creative passion so follow it follow it and like i said the moon is represented by pisces although you've got cancer i did say don't exclude pisces or scorpio you might be getting news definitely news this could be official news okay you might be getting married because you've got the wheel of fortune so this could be official documents boom that is the overall uh, energy for the reading now you've got from the uh, romance cards you've got religious factors yes your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing or spiritual paths well this is a spiritual uh, card as the moon is represented by Pisces and the the water signs are very spiritual and highly sensitive and intuitive so perhaps you believe in a spiritual path um, could be a religion or the alternative the paranormal and they might not so that's why you might be protecting um, protecting your beliefs or your traditions don't worry if you keep the communication going and you do it slow and steady and you've invested into communication and in this person because you love them it will be fine you've got number three for the watermelon because this is the watermelon uh, card and it's beautiful colors you can eat watermelon or wear the color watermelon to enhance your um, stress levels to bring them down and to heal and you can also eat watermelon to detox and heal you've got number three so that means be creative um, enjoy your inner child enjoy your inner child so if you're being too serious let your inner child come out sorry about the uh, voice last week um, I sounded really like a man I can't even do it um, but that was my headset and that headset made me look like or sound like a man and the, the sound was awful so I've got a couple of new headphones so I one headphone sorry and I hope you can hear me well now as far as I can test I can hear it much much better even better than if I did it through the computer microphone a year from now you will see what you've done and reached and how far you've grown like the Queen of Wands she nurtures everything so you protect everything and you will nurture everything that means a lot to you or that you're passionate or that you love you are a fighter you are determined so don't worry about anything my darlings let your inner child come out don't be too serious know how to shut yourself off uh, and I'll turn up the camera for this um, know how to shut yourself off if when you go into a room this is your solar plex your emotional chakra so tur turn with the clock to shut it 
shut your emotions and do it three times round when you leave the room so your solar plexus open again and open your heart let your inner child come out this is beautiful reading so i hope it resonates with you and i hope uh, it will support you motivate you uh, and help you in making decisions uh, or anything else for that matter i hope to see you in the live sessions please like and share as usual and i uh, with family and friends and give us the thumbs up and i hope to see you in the live sessions over the weekend as i will be discussing the readings that were posted last week ciao ciao and be safe